The Porsche brand is synonymous with high-performance sports cars and racing heritage, but its origins can be traced back to a rare and remarkable vehicle that was built before World War II. The 1939 Porsche Type 64 is widely regarded as the world's oldest surviving Porsche and the precursor of all subsequent models, from the 356 to the 911. It was designed by Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of the company, and his son Ferry Porsche, who later took over the business. The Type 64 was a visionary creation that combined innovative engineering, aerodynamic styling, and lightweight construction to achieve remarkable speed and efficiency. The Type 64 was conceived as a racing car for the 1,500 km Berlin-Rome race, which was planned for September 1939 as a showcase of Germany's automotive and highway technology. The race was sponsored by the Nazi regime, which had commissioned Ferdinand Porsche to design and produce the Volkswagen Beetle, also known as the KDF wagon, Kraft Durch Frude, or Strength Through Joy. The Beetle was intended to be an affordable and reliable car for the masses, but Ferry Porsche had a different vision. He wanted to create a faster and lighter version of the Beetle that could compete in sports events and demonstrate Germany's technological prowess. Ferry Porsche persuaded his father to build three special racing cars based on the Beetle chassis and drivetrain, but with significant modifications. The Type 64 had a 32-horsepower air-cooled flat-four engine that was tuned to produce more power and torque. The engine was mounted behind the rear axle, giving the car a rear-wheel drive configuration. The suspension was also derived from the Beetle, but with stiffer springs and shock absorbers. The brakes were hydraulic drums on all four wheels. The most distinctive feature of the Type 64 was its aluminium body, which was shaped by hand at the Reuter Works in Zuffenhausen, Germany. The body had a streamlined design that reduced air resistance and improved aerodynamics. The body also had some unique elements, such as removable alloy panels that covered the wheels, a split windshield that reduced wind noise, and a central fin that enhanced stability. The body was painted silver, giving the car a futuristic appearance. The Type 64 weighed only 635 kilograms, which was about half of the weight of a standard Beetle. This gave it a remarkable power-to-weight ratio and enabled it to reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour. The Type 64 also had a low fuel consumption of about 7 liters per 100 kilometers, which was impressive for its time. The Type 64 was designed to be a long-distance racer that could endure harsh conditions and terrain. Unfortunately, the Type 64 never got a chance to prove its potential on the racetrack. The Berlin-Rome race was cancelled due to the outbreak of World War II in September 1939, and Germany's priorities shifted to military production. The three Type 64 cars were stored in various locations during the war, and two of them were destroyed by Allied bombing raids. Only one Type 64 survived the war intact. It was owned by Ferry Porsche himself, who registered it in Austria in 1946 and added the Porsche lettering to the nose of the car. The surviving Type 64 is considered to be the first car to bear the Porsche name and logo. It is also regarded as the missing link between the Volkswagen Beetle and the Porsche 356, which was launched in 1948 as the first production model of the company. The Type 64 influenced the design and engineering of the 356, which in turn inspired subsequent models such as the 550 Spider, the 904 Carrera GTS, and the iconic 911. The Type 64 is a priceless piece of automotive history that has only changed hands twice since its initial ownership by Ferry Porsche. In 1948, it was sold to Otto Mate, an Austrian privateer driver who raced it in various events until his death in 1995. In 1997, it was acquired by Dr. Thomas Gruber, one of the world's most respected Porsche specialists and collectors. He restored and preserved the car with utmost care and respect for its original condition. The Type 64 has been exhibited in several prestigious museums and events around the world, such as the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart, Germany, 
the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, and the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance in California. It has also been driven by some of the most renowned automotive journalists and experts, such as Chris Harris, who described it as, the most important car I've ever driven. In August 2019, the Type 64 was offered for sale at an auction by Erm Sotheby's in Monterey, California. It was expected to fetch about $20 million United States dollars, making it one of the most valuable cars ever sold at auction. However, due to a technical error with the bidding display system, which showed incorrect figures in millions instead of thousands, there was confusion and disappointment among potential buyers and spectators. The auction ended without a sale. The Type 64 remains unsold as of May 2023. It is still owned by Dr. Thomas Gruber, who has not disclosed his plans for its future. Whoever becomes its next owner will not only own a piece of Porsche's origin story, but also a car that embodies Ferdinand and Ferry Porsche's vision of excellence, innovation, and passion.